Got a new engine kit today. Let's see what's inside. Hey, what's going on everybody? Alex from MotorLife.com and today I'm going to do an unboxing and first look review on this new motor kit from BicycleMotorWorks.com and in fact, I'm going to start doing more kit reviews and more part reviews from a lot more company and actually, if you guys didn't see my last video, I got this hyper frame in the mail the other day so I'm going to take this new kit and slap it on there and see how it goes so let's get this box open and kind of see what's in there. All right, so this is the first time that I've ordered a kit from BicycleMotorWorks.com. Um, the kit itself was one hundred and nine, so one hundred and ten dollars, and then shipping was another nine ninety nine, so altogether one hundred and twenty for a Zeta eighty. The box came in decent condition. It was snowy outside, so the edges got a little wet, but. Uh, then I also ordered a copper gasket for $4.99, a 0.2 millimeter copper gasket from same place. So let's see what this kit looks like, what this Zeta 80 kit for 109 looks like. And I do want to say I'm not getting paid by this company to do a review or anything, uh, so I'm going to try to give the most non-biased review I can give you guys. All right, well, everything looks to be intact, not any holes or damage. Let's, uh, let's get this guy open first here. All right, first off, here's the clutch handle, and I can see this is the old style with just that regular push button. Uh, I mean, still good. Still nice. I like the uh, two-stage ones better that look like... Here's the newer style that actually has the two-stage, two-notch clutch lock on there. It seems to hold a little better, but... So we got that. Exhaust. All right, nice chrome exhaust. Doesn't look to have any dings or anything on there. This is the one that actually has the bolt instead of the stud coming from the inside baffle. Straight there. Nice round hole there. All right. Got a CDI here. This would be basic CDI. Yeah. Average length cable on there. Uh, it does look like that got a little bent, but still, I don't end up using these. I end up actually just zip tying on there. I can change them out easily if I'm on the road. Okay, nice. It does have a four bolt tensioner. This does look to be uh, the older style four bolt, but still a four bolt. That's good. A lot better than the uh, regular two bolt. A lot better than the old two bolt style. These seem to jiggle around. This one is a lot better. Now here's your uh, nine bolt rag joint sprocket adapter. Just seem to have upgraded bolts and nuts on there. Little nylon knock locking nuts, so that's good on there. Right here we have the. Regular pet conch on there. Nice uh, inline filter and tank filter. Then you have your spark plug tool. Now this is the bracket for the chain guard. And that's nice. Looks like it actually came with a sprocket removal tool, which is a plus. Some engines don't come with those. If you're switching out a gear or something, you're definitely gonna need it. All right, here's the M8. Bolt universal new bracket on there. So that's pretty standard. That's for your wider down tube frame. All right, looks like we have a 415 chain. Nice, which I might have to do a little cutting on the actual engine to get that to fit right. We'll see. Uh, basic inline paper filter. And chain guard, which don't usually end up using on 
my kits. Well, I'll put them on initially for the customer, and they can take them off. But uh, just something else to go wrong and vibrate loose on your bike, it seems. All right. Check out the tank box. Next, I do see one of the uh, bolts is already sticking out there. See if this tank is intact. First off, there's the uh, tank gas cap bolts, and then those brackets for the tank. I like double lock nutting the actual tank so they stay on. See a little rust on there, but that's okay. All right, these don't seem to be bent. This one's a little crooked, but uh, tank doesn't seem to be dented. A couple little uh, defects in the paint, but that's not bad at all. I've seen some where the whole sides caved in, but uh, usually you can just call the person you bought it from. See if they can replace it. Uh, that's where customer service goes a long way in this business. Not bad. All right. Now I ordered a black engine, so let's see how this looks. I don't usually order them already painted. Let's we'll see how this paint looks on here. You see a couple little holes on the side of the box, but that's okay. Let me go through this stuff. What we got here? All right. This is your standard, uh, standard throttle housing right there. A regular button. All right. Does have the old chrome cap style throttle grips? Looks like. Oh, these are okay. Um, these are not bad actually. I do like the chrome, so it matches some bikes. Compared to the, now I've seen a couple different types of throttle grip, a couple different types of grips come with these stock kits. Uh, this is the old style. This was the middle year style. You can see on there, you got this one here, this one, and then this is the one I've been seeing on some of the newer ones. Uh, these are okay and kind of hard. In fact, this one's solid plastic, so they're all right. I do like taking the uh, stock grips and using them when I can, uh, so. All right, looks like we have uh, this the regular stock carb, the vertical gas connection type. Looks like that, you can see it says NT right there. Not a bad little carb for stock, uh, these are pretty cheap. Probably gonna upgrade that. Regular rubber gas line, looks like the regular length. Throttle cable, clutch springs. Alright, here. First off, looks like a 44 tooth sprocket on there, which that'll be perfect. And this is nice and chrome, so that's going to match that bike. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay. Not too bad at all. Uh, it does have 40 millimeter intake there. Nice chrome. This paint does not seem to be too bad. Looks like there is some scuffs right here on there just from shipping. Hopefully I can touch that up. 40 millimeter front mount. Nice big M8 bolts. Hex studs all the way around as you can see. Looks like uh, tape that off when they paint in. Just the regular in bolt bucking arm. Big bolts on the back. Let's see. Now, I do see the issue why I don't like getting them already painted, because I do like having all the hex bolts, bolts chrome, and you can see these are already painted, and I can tell that's gonna be a bit of a pain to get off. So, uh, time for me to take off the head cylinder, it looks like a nice spark plug on there too. Uh, take off the head and cylinder, and see what type of rod it has in there. So, let's rip that off. 
All right, let's go ahead and just head off and see what she looks like on the inside. So far, it doesn't look to be too bad of an engine. Guess we'll see once we get it open what the exact crank we're working with because I know a lot of the Zeta 80s have a ZL 40 millimeter stamp rod. Be careful not to scratch anything here. All right. Looks like that casting looks pretty good on there. Not too bad. So you do a little, little. Little burr I do need to sand down. All right. Now it does look like I see a couple little uh, metal shavings, looks like. That's probably just for removing the head, but I see something I'm gonna need to clean in there. It looks like a little bit of the paint got on the gasket on both sides, but that should be fine. All right. Looks like they did oil it when they put it together. All right, not bad. Don't see a lot of big burrs on there, so that looks nice and smooth. The chroming looks good on there. Ports look nice, nice and clean. And I can see down inside of that one. There's a couple little burrs that I have to get off on both the transfer ports and intake on there. All right, and yep, I don't know if you can see on there, but it is. it does have a ZL 40 millimeter stamped rod with the type B piston, as you can see on there. It looks to be a nice balanced crank. So that's all good. So it is a it's the first version of Zeta. Uh, it does have the uh, C style clip on there, which I'm gonna switch out for a G style. Uh, one from Treatland, actually a moped one, because I've had these break. So let me uh, take the piston off and see what kind of needle bearings we're dealing with now. Looks like an MNT piston on there. Casting looks good on inside and outside. I do see the arrow is facing towards the exhaust side, which doesn't seem to match on any engine. Nice. Nice needle, cage needle bearing. Not a full cage on there, but this one seems to be lighter. All right, I did notice that actually, I did not get that copper gasket that I bought for $4.99. Uh, definitely not in the box, so I will be contacting Bicycle Motor Works to see what, uh, what exactly happened there. So keep that in mind. All right, well my first thoughts on this kit actually looks like a nice Zeta 80 kit. Um, couple just uh, older, doesn't mean necessarily they're bad or anything, but just older pieces, older style, grips, carb. Basic CDI, I know a couple other companies are offering uh, advanced CDIs and uh, seal savers and a couple other things. So, but uh, still not a bad kit. We'll see once I get it on that bike over there, how it actually does. Uh, alrighty, well you guys are gonna see more of this engine on that bike once I start putting it together. Uh, so comment, like, subscribe. I'm gonna contact the company and see, what the, see what's going on with that gasket. So. Uh, Stay tuned, you're gonna see a lot more of this. Thanks a lot. All right, so I uh, emailed Bicycle Motor Works about the missing copper gasket, and within an hour, uh, he responded to me and said, yeah, no problem, they're actually gonna send me some more, uh, send me the gasket and some upgrades, and this came today. So let me show you exactly what all it came with here. All right, yeah, it looks like I do have the point two millimeter copper gasket not bad and that actually looks like he sent me a, a 0.6 also so uh, that'll be perfect for tuning 
Those are nice, actual pure copper gaskets. Uh, looks like a, a seal saver. Look at that. Not bad. That actually goes underneath the magnet. Uh, so those high compression engines, that seal behind the magnet pops out. This keeps it from popping out. Nice. What else we got here? Looks like a, an upgraded cable with a nice spark plug. Let's see what kind it is. Oh, not bad. Like I actually, it looks like one of the stock, uh, another stock spark plug. That's nice. And a uh, water waterproof boot. Nice. Okay. Well, awesome. So, yeah, contacted. They uh, responded within an hour and sent me out, I don't know, looks like $15 worth of uh, free parts. So, awesome. Bicycle Motor Works, good customer service so far. And I got this in the mail today from that that's dax.com. This is a pooch high high compression head on there. You can see that's a uh, real flat. So, we're going to see how that works. See, that's nice looking. That will look good on that. So, awesome. I'm going to do a full review on this, especially when I get in there. I do see that actually has a bent foil. But we'll see how this works. All righty. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Uh, tell me what you want to see. You're going to see a lot more of all this stuff on that hyper frame that actually I'm building just to sell. So, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.